Before I could show you how to animate in one axis, I need to demonstrate how to animate. So if you already know how to use the animation player and whatnot, you could skip to the timestamp on the screen right now, and that'll just take you to the part where I cover how to animate in only one axis without affecting the other. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and grab a sprite. I don't use the animated sprite, I just use the normal sprite. And go ahead and select an icon for that. And then we're going to do an animation player. And then we're going to add a new animation. This is going to be the test animation. And then we're going to add a track, property track, select the sprite, and then what you want to animate. This could also be done by selecting the sprite when you have the animation player inserted. Select the w one you want, click lock, create. So now it has a point created there. I go over here, I can move him, create point. I can move him to here, create point. If you want to lengthen, you could go here, click and lengthen. If you want to select and load your intervals, like right here, I'm only doing every 0.5 seconds of frame, you could increase that. And also, if you want it to loop, you could select here to loop it. Just simple things you need with animation. And then right here, I click here, click that, and now I have all my keyframes. Now because this is going to loop and it has the um, linear, it should smoothly animate throughout all those. I could select it to the nearest and it's just going to teleport. This is what I use for pixel art, changing between each pixel. You could also do cubic, which speeds up, slows down. So that's the basics of animation. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And I'm going to add a new track. I'm going to set them back to zero, zero. I'm going to add a new track, which is going to be his position. Now I'm only going to want to animate in the x-axis to make him go back and forth. And then I'm just going to add a keyframe there and a keyframe here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this back down to one second. And I'm just going to make him move left, move left and right. So let's do negative 150 to 150. And this is going to animate him in the x-axis. Now, because he's actually not animated in the y-axis, because I specified position colon x, I could change his y-axis however much I want. Now, why this, while this is cool, there are actually other ways you could do this. And you don't really need to go through the effort of animating only the x-axis. You could add him to a part of a node. But there is something else that knowing how to do this helps you greatly with. So in here, I have an adult scene. I have an animation idle and an animation run. So let's go with the idle because it's most simple for now. And this is only animated in the x-axis. So that means his head, his legs, whatnot, are only going to change in the x-axis. So I could change this one to be a 9 and it's going to go on to the next head. And then I animate, or I play, and it continues the animation. And this is a key feature for animating a changeable sprite, or a changeable character with only one sprite sheet. Now I'm going to go ahead and do another one, just to demonstrate. So I'm going to play. His head is currently deactivated. So I'm going to add a new one to his head. I'm just going to click here, add track, property track, head, and then frame codes. And then I'm going to colon x, so I'm only animating in the x-axis. Insert key. This key is going to be at 0. And then I'm going to insert key. This key is going to be at 1. Now it's actually not changing because, yet again, it is linear. Nearest is the one we want to use. Or you could also just do discrete and linear. That one also works. I just do continuous and nearest for a pixel. Art. So I'm hoping you like this demonstration and hopefully it was able to help you in any project you was working on.